chicken likes you better. See? So this is one of the first chickens we hatched ourselves. This using was the first chicken we hatched ourselves. The very first one? Yes, this was the first chicken. So we, we experienced hatching our chickens using the incubator for the first time. Yep. And it went pretty well. About how many of the eggs do you think overall for percentage wise um, hatched? I think about 50% of them, which wasn't a great hatch rate, but I'm, I'm thinking there's some things I need to do differently because the chickens didn't have any way, we didn't have any way set up to divide the eggs so that when they hatched, they would be in their little sections. And so the chickens were just making a mess in there. And so I actually pulled chicken chicks out twice, which of course changed the temperature and the humidity a bit each time I did that. And so I think we had a lower hat trait because of that because they were hatching really a bunch of them all at once. And then, and then we had a couple and those were the smaller ones. And so um, I, I think we just lowered the hat trait by opening that lid up. But next time what I plan to do is get some kind of cardboard or plastic to divide them a little bit so that they have a little less space to kind of just roam around and make a mess. Were they interfering with each other as they were trying to hatch or were they getting in each other's way? No, that wasn't an issue. It was it was more that they were messing up the other eggs and rolling them around and kind of getting them dirty and mucky too. The eggs that didn't hatch all kind of had a lot of gunk on them by the end, which isn't good for it, of course. It's a lot of bacteria and stuff entering in then that way. So the goop from the eggs and the slime off the chickens was just kind of getting everywhere. So I, I think that contributed as much as me opening and shutting. So I'm hoping that if we can divide them up, that will help improve it a little bit. But we are also using a really inexpensive incubator. So it's it's not like one of those big GFC <laughs> incubators that's like a tank and you know, has really high hatch rates to begin with. So it, I mean, it's a decent incubator, don't get me wrong. I think it's perfectly fine for home use. So. I think there's some ways I can kind of improve it. I do wish that, that the companies would make something that you could put in there because that would be nice just to have something that you could put in there that kind of came with the incubator that you could easily wash off. That's why I'm kind of thinking maybe something plastic or something like, maybe something kind of like you would use in fishing tackle or, or crafts or something like that that has little plastic dividers so I could find something like that at like a Michaels or something and put that in there and configure it for egg size things and hopefully keep the keep them a little bit more contained and stuff. Put the chickens put the chickens in their place. Yeah, yeah. But what we did find with the chickens that did hatch is that they seem I don't know, to me they seem kind of healthier than the chickens that come by mail. I think maybe the stress of the mail makes them maybe a little smaller because my chicks seem pretty round and they're really fat. Well fed and <laughs> happy chickens. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're they're very round. Maybe maybe it's just me, but I feel like these are very round, sturdy little chickens. And I also like that that they they kind of know my voice mm. and you know, even though I'm not like out there all the time, they they seem quite a bit more relaxed and you know, they may squawk and do chicken things like you, they all do when you go to take their food and water out and they run around and things like that. But if I get one in my hand and we're just sitting here like this, it's they're all like this. So yeah, so that's kind of nice. I don't think they'll maybe stay so much like this once they get in with the gang of ruffians that the other ones are. And it just moved yeah. down me. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to avoid that. Oh well. That's what leaves are for. We do have footage 
of the actual hatching, which is pretty cool. We'll have to do a time lapse to, to watch that. Yeah. Anything else surprise you about the, the process of using the incubator or? Yeah, no, I, I think one thing that I wasn't really aware of until we did it was that, that the chickens would hatch over such a long period of time. It did I, take really, yeah. I really did think that within 24 hours, all the eggs that were gonna hatch would hatch and they'd all be in there milling around and I just need to wait until they warmed up. But they hatched over a good three day period. It wasn't like popcorn popcorn. No, though. no, <laughs> it definitely wasn't like popcorn. What surprised me was that we could hear peeping in the eggs before they hatched. Yeah, that was like, pretty sweet. Am I hearing birds outside? No, that's that's coming from the incubator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are these cute little peepees happening, so that was pretty cute. Would have liked to have had a, a few more chickens than we, we got hatched, but I knew going into it that I was probably gonna have some problems with the first run and have to figure some things out, so. What have we got, like 10 or 11 of them, something like that? Yeah, 10. 10 of them. Yep. And 12 hatched and we had one die for some unknown reason and then another one seemed to have trouble coming out of the egg and had a little bit of i don't know something umbilical cord looking stuck to it but just i don't know i think it maybe was infected or something like that and it was one of the last ones to hatch it was the second to the last one to hatch um and that may be the, the last one to hatch was act, is actually our smallest chick, so which is making me think that that some of the conditions weren't ideal. So, yeah. Well, it might be normal. Later chickens, Could be. the longer it takes, maybe they're a little their health is a little bit more at risk. Yeah. Well, like I said, there's more obviously more bacteria happening in there with with having all this fecal and egg crap all over the place. Hey you, get out of my beans. It's discovering that the garden is fun. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I want to go play. You want to play in the garden? Go play in the garden. Let's see if he likes sitting up on the light. He's a cute guy. You're a tall chicken. What do you think? Hi. So we're back again with our incubator and it's three days until hatching. And so I need to add some water to the incubator. Now I don't have a turkey baster, so <laughs> I don't know why I don't have a turkey baster. I thought I had one. But anyways, I, I need to add water to increase the humidity levels in here to 70 to 80 percent. We've been holding really pretty steady at about 48, 49 percent humidity, which was good for the initial 18 days, but now it's time to increase the level of humidity. So I'm going to gently kind of get in there and add some water. So I'm going to have to be very careful of this spot here, but I think that I can pretty easily hit these little channels here. Just a little there, 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 and then I'm not going to do the last one. I don't know why they even have a channel there, because it's impossible to get with that motor there. We'll see how that works. I'll put the lid back on, put it back in the corner, and I will come back and check it in maybe a couple hours just to see if the humidity level has gone up yet or if I need to add more. Thanks. See you soon. Okay. So one of the things I found out just now was that these two little tabs need to be removed. And so I've removed those and my 
humidity is still only at 51%, so I'm going to add a little bit more water to the channels. And now I'll go ahead and close it back up and check it in another hour. Was excited. <laughs> oh, hi, right 
there, baby. Right there. Oh, somebody just stuck its head through. I don't know why I don't have pips in any of the other eggs. But these three were kind of early. They were a couple days early, I feel like, so. Today's like the 19th day, so that's really pretty early. Uh, little peeper is making some noise now. Yep. Oh, little bee, bee kisses. Oh, no, they're going to snuggle. They're snuggling. Yeah, they're snuggling. <laughs> <laughs> They're snuggling. <laughs> Snuggly birds. Good babies. But we'll see if the rest of the eggs hatch. I might have opened the incubator too many times when they were hatching. I removed some of the eggshells because they were kind of, they kept getting stuck on them. <laughs> so they were out of the eggshell, then they'd come back on it. And then they were squeaky to make you loud, hurt noises. So I took some of the eggshells off a couple times. So I might maybe shouldn't have done that. I also think I had the humidity a little off at some point, so I'm, I'm just not sure. So. The fuzzy ones come now. Little fluffy pants. Hi, <laughs> cuties. Hey, they're not fluffy yet. They back under there. This little guy was just hatched. I'm not sure if you can see it, but the end of his beak has an extra little tip on it. That is for the chicken to break out of its shell. It's called the egg tooth. They're getting a little more adventurous coming out from under the warmer. Well, now there's dried off some. And they can hear my voice. And since I'm the one who talked to them, they've imprinted on me. Or I've imprinted on them. I'm not sure which way it is. So, they think I'm mama. Don't you, babies? Don't ya? They say it must be okay. Mama Hen is here, so we can come out. Come on, Fluffy. Put him back there. I want to see if, how, how it looks. Yeah, we can see him. That's a good spot for him.